Hello, everyone. I'm Kat Shi. I'm with Paris. In Paris has been working with uh, the global organization Open Hardware Group. And today my talk is about getting started with the free ISS instruction set simulator for the Open Hardware Core 5 IP roadmap. So quick introduction of in Paris. We are a technology company. We are a market leader in uh, processor reference models, simulators, and tools. Our customers include world-leading chip and system companies. We also have a very successful university program. We are active supporter of open source teams. We are a private company, been in business for over 12 years, profitable, based in UK, and we support customers worldwide. If this is a diagram of the free uh, in Paris reference uh, ISS uh, instruction set simulator. The name of it is uh, RISC-V OVP Sim Core 5. It models the CPU and memory. It's a standalone application, so you can load an L file, select the core, connect to the debugger, and execute the program. You can download it to, from a GitHub open hardware group. The key technology here is the in Paris core reference model. The challenge for modeling RISC-V is how configurable RISC-V is and how extendable it, it is. So it can get a little bit complicated. Fortunately, in Paris has done all the heavy lifting for the industry. That's based on our over 12 years of modeling processors. We've been modeling ARM, MIPS, PowerPC, and so on. And for RISC-V, we provide a full RISC-V specification envelope model. It's industrial grade. It's a simulator of um, the processor and is used for um, the different use cases of verification, test development, and software development and test. Let me just highlight a few um, key features here. It supports all 32-bit and 64-bit rectified user and privilege specifications. It supports vector extension, bit manipulation, hypervisor, and so on. The model source is included under Apache 2.0 license, so it's highly customer friendly. Many of our customers and partners use us as the RISC-V golden reference model. Here you can see a sample list of our customers and partners. So with the base model, how do you extend it? So let's me for, uh, first start with the base model. So with the, with the base model, a customer can select which ISA extension, which version of the ISA extension, and also we provide the fully configurable for all RISC-V specification options. Next, we have defined um, a methodology, which is easy for our customers to add user extensions and custom CSRs. We provide templates, lots of examples, code fragment, and the methodology is designed in a way such that it does not disturb the base model. And magically, all our tools work with your custom extensions. Next, I'll quickly talk about three use cases of our models. The first is for design verification, second is for software development, and the third is a fixed virtual platform for OS bring up and application development. We were used in the design verification of open hardware, uh, the core five variant CV32E 40P, oh, that's a mouthful. Um, here's a diagram, a very busy block diagram, but let me try to simplify it for you. This is a diagram of um, the design verification flow. So here you can see the Verilog RTL. So this is the uh, DUT and it's wrapped in UVM system Verilog environment. So the program can be loaded and executed. In this case, the program comes from the Google random instruction generator. Here you see our uh, commercial simulator. It's wrapped in system Verilog. So in the flow, the program can be, <clears throat> excuse me, loaded execute, clocked, and executed, <clears throat> excuse me. So it would go through the RTL first and then go through the uh, reference simulator, in Paris reference simulator. Debug and uh, also interrupts are taken into account. 
So it's basically step and compare. So after each instruction retirement, the CSRs, the GPRs, and PC are compared. So in this manner, we verify the RTL. So that's the use case of uh, design verification. And the second use case is for software development. So with the free RISC-V, OVP SIM, Core 5, this free RISS, you can use it on all the open hardware variant, variants. And it's usable for all software, develop, uh, software development teams, including the two chain guys, bare metal, firmware application developers. It can be even used for low grade, simple post trace, uh, post simulation trace compare design verification. It works with uh, instruction stream generators from Valtrix, Google, and Openware, uh, a future way. The third use case is work in progress of the open hardware MCU platform. When the specification is complete, we will create a free um, FVP, we call it the fixed virtual platform. And basically it's similar to the ISS, but it has a complete model of necessary components to boot the RTOS, uh, boot Linux, SMP Linux and other OSs. So it's great for OS bring up and application development. So I've talked about the three use cases. Let me show, um, do a dry demo to show you what, they, what the resources actually look like. First is the GitHub, GitHub repository. So you would come here, choose the branches and download the binaries and doc documentation. So this is the open hardware GitHub repository. The way to run the program is that with this executable, uh, RIS5 OVP SIM Core5.exe, you can specify the program and uh, different options. So in this screenshot, I use the example of listing the variants. It will list all the available variants. With the repository, you, it, you can also get a very full suite of our documentation. So each variant would, would, uh, will come with its own model um, documentation. Uh, we also provide a user guide of the simulator and the models. This is another example of running a program. This is uh, running the Fib uh, Fibonacci series uh, with the variant of the E40P. And as you can see, the results of the Fibonacci run is printed on screen. And that's because it uses our semi-hosting capability. Semi-hosting is leveraging the resource of the workstation. So in this case, the print app is print to screen. On the right-hand side, we show a different option. We show just different options of how you can trace. For example, here, uh, you can trace uh, the buffer, trace the change in registers and so on. And the lower right-hand side screenshot shows you another screenshot of an example of looking at uh, what different kind of uh, instructions are run. And you can usually use the dash help options to get the complete set of uh, different op um, uh, options that you can use with this uh, ISS. It also comes with its own debugger. So it comes with uh, two debuggers that works right out of the box. The first one is the GDB debugger. And uh, once you launch it, it will bring up a new window. So this is where you can do the usual uh, GDB debugging, um, uh, set a breakpoint, watch, uh, watch point, and steps uh, uh, each line. You can also bring up Eclipse. In our environment, we call it eGUI. So it bring up an interactive uh, GUI window. So it's, again, it's the same thing. It's a very easy to, to look at the registers and set breakpoint and control the simulation. So in summary, uh, we provide a free reference ISS instruction set simulator for open hardware Core 5 variants. It includes complete RISC 5 reference model supported actively by Imperis. Go to the GitHub for a free download. It includes um, 
GDP and Eclipse for Debugging, go to the ovpworld.org, which is the open source site run by in Paris for download of the Eclipse IDE. And uh, for questions, contact me, um, send questions on OVP World or come to our website. That's the end of my uh, discussion. So I think we have some time for questions and answers. Uh, Kat, we're um, asking everybody to go on over to the Q&A and it looks like, um, uh, it doesn't look like we have any questions over in the Q&A. So if you do have questions, put them there and Kat, you can pop on over there and type in any answers that'd be appreciated. Sounds good. Thank you, for okay. everybody. Thank you so much for your presentation.